What's going on everyone? Talon here with Town Collects Figures and we are back with another figure and this time we have this launch figure here. So we've got launched by the Glitter and Glamour Collection from Ban Presto. Um, I kind of just picked her up because I found her for a good deal. I guess that that's the main reason. I have been wanting a launch figure in general because I do like her and I wanted to get her added to my Dragon Ball collection because I kind of want to get one of every character from uh, Dragon Ball at some point in time here. And she was one that I'm missing. And I picked her up on eBay and the reason that I ended up getting her or getting this version of launch is... Well, I mean, nobody nobody bid on her. <laughs> I guess that's the easiest way to put it. Uh, brand new and sealed. It was from a seller that was in Japan. And basically, they had the bid starting at $0.99 cents with $20 shipping. Nobody bid, so I got her for $20.99. And I thought that was a really good deal. So I'm really happy with it, considering that it looks to be... A genuine one. I mean, he had all positive reviews, so I don't think it's a bootleg one. Everything looks fine with the box here. Uh, but I mean, we'll know right away as soon as I open up the figure. And I believe she was released in 2018 as a prize figure. I don't know what the actual retail price was, but a lot of times when I was looking on just various different sites that uh, sell the figures from Japan, I was finding the two pack of her, so the one with the green and the white uh, outfits together, I think for $50 was the normal going rate, 50 or $45. So I think I got her at pretty much retail at $21 and then I had to pay tax, so like $25 I, be, I believe I paid. So pretty much just regular retail price, um, but it was always hard to find her here for that price because the shipping was always crazy if you bought it from one of the japanese websites and then everyone i was everyone else that was selling her on ebay around here was asking for like 50 dollars for one figure so yeah very happy with this pickup so let's go ahead and get her out of the box here and see what she looks like all right so here we have the body the head we've got hand with the machine gun and then we've got the base here um yeah i think the figure looks fine yeah i don't think it's a, a fake or anything like that i've gotten other figures from ben presto before or yeah ben presto i've gotten their was it glimmers gals and glimmers i already forgot the name of this thing uh glitters and glamours i've gotten the bulma glitters and glamours and this feels about the same as her. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and put the head on. All right, and there we go. Just like that, she is put together. She's got her gun in this hand. She's got her grenade ready to go there. It looks like she's already biting off the pin there. Pull the pin. And uh, yeah, so here is what she looks like. Yeah, so I mean, overall, it's basically what I expect from a prize figure from Ban Presto. Um, they have pretty good quality for like cheap figures because if we go by like the retail price, he's actually a very affordable figure uh, at retail. And the quality, like I said, for that price point always feels really good with the Ban Presto figures. So that's something I've always been impressed with how they can get their. 20 to 30 dollar figures to just be really good like feel like really nice quality material um the paint always looks good i usually don't have any issues with that they don't have any of the like bubbling issues or having any like you know uh just like imperfections in the mold i guess is the best way to put it it seems like it's always sanded nice before painted um yeah so 
If you like budget figures that actually, you know, look really nice and actually feel pretty high quality, Van Presto does a pretty good job of it. Um, I mean, I know they don't have a wide variety of actual figures that they do. It's mainly just uh, kind of like the more mainstream animes they have uh, figures for, you know, like Dragon Ball here. They've got some One Piece. They've got just a few others like that kind of caliber of figure. So that is going to be launch. Let me know if you guys uh, collect any from the Van Presto line here, if you collect any prize figures, uh, if you get any of the other Glitters and Glamours girls, I am curious to know, because there's a few different versions of Launcher. There's a few different versions of Bulma as well. Um, they're all bigger size too. Like if we look back at some of the, well, I can't really see too well there. Let's pull her over. So this is a one-seventh scale. So it's like she's slight, oh, slightly bigger than one-seventh. This is probably like a one-sixth scale uh, in terms of the size, I would say. But yeah, that's going to be it uh, for this video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And of course I will catch you in the next one.